you're going to turn on that. Okay. So, first topic on religion is, on my new channel, is that um, just recently, as of today, I came across this. And um, I'm not going to use names in this, but um, somebody told me that to be pagan is to be pagan. Yes, but that their organization does not recognize my path. Because I am electric pagan. I do follow Athena and St. Michael. That's all I've worshipped in my path. I am a Hellenic pagan, but I also worship St. Michael. He was woven into my path. Um, and this is what I wanted to get at you. I'm sorry, I'm on Facebook. Sorry. Um, this is what I am trying to get at. If you are pagan, you are pagan. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. Doesn't matter what path you are. It doesn't matter what faith you follow. Um, I've heard a lot of people tell me that, oh, if you're Christian or Catholic pagan, that doesn't count. You're not really pagan. Okay? So what? You know? Um, it's what I choose to follow. If I choose to believe that my God is called Zeus, that's what I call my God. You know, don't judge me and I won't judge you. Another person had told me that Catholics and Christians are pretty much the same thing. Yes, they are classified as the same thing. Do I believe that they are? No, I do not believe that Catholics and Christians are the same thing. Christians believe that no matter what you do, it's still up to God to get you into heaven. But Catholics believe that if you do good, it comes back to you and it'll last seven generations. They kind of believe in the threefold law. If you do good, it's going to come back to you and it's going to last seven generations. In other words, if somebody drops a dollar on the street and you flag that person down and you say, Here, you left their dollar. That's a good, that's an act of kindness. That's going to last seven generations and eventually it's going to come back to you. And that person, whoever they may be, may remember that. Oh, you... You flagged my grandfather down in 2013, and you gave him his dollar back. I wanted to thank you for that. That meant the world to him, and, you know, da-da-da-da-da. That's what Catholics believe. Catholics believe that no matter what you do, if you do good, you're going to get into heaven. If you do bad, you do bad, and you go to hell. Personally, I do not believe in heaven or hell. Um, I believe that it is what you do. I, I kind of believe in the Christian way. Or the Catholic way, I'm sorry. The Catholic way. I believe that if you do good, you know, it's going to come back to you eventually. Full circle. If you do bad, however, that's going to come back to you. Full circle. Um, for instance, you abuse an animal, that's going to come back to you. That animal is eventually going to backlash on. That animal is eventually going to lash out. And the consequences are going to be that animal is either going to attack you or bite you or run away. And eventually you will be prosecuted by the, by a judge. Now, if you see an animal that is hurt or injured and you do good and you nurse that animal back to health and, you know, that animal is going to in turn be loyal to you. Um, I know I'm a little straying here, but this is just what I wanted to point out. Do not tell me that my path is not real. Do not tell me that, oh, you're, you're electric pagan and your path doesn't really exist. Don't judge me and I won't judge you is what I'm trying to say. Um, I don't care if you're black, white, Asian, Japanese, you know, whatever. Purple, pink, blue, orange, or polka dots, I don't care. You don't judge me, I won't judge you. That's my basic rule of life. I don't judge you, you don't judge me. I play with dolls, so what? Kid over it. You don't like it? Oh well. This is my life. This is what I want to do. Um, this is just what I'm trying to say. Don't let people discourage you from your path. If you want to be a different religion, that's fine. Don't let your parents sit there and condemn you for it. Just tell them, look, Mom, Dad, this is my path. I'm happy. So, please don't don't try to discourage me. Um, I personally grew up in a very open family. Um, my mom and dad, they did choose to raise this Roman Catholic. Um, 
However, they figured, you know, when the time comes, if they don't want to be Roman Catholic, they don't have to be Roman Catholic. We're still going to love them no matter what. And in a way, that is how I'm going to raise my kids. I'm going to raise them pagan. And if they feel that, you know, they don't want to be pagan, they don't want to believe in one God or in multiple gods and goddesses, that's not for me to judge. As long as they know that at the end of the day, I love them. They have a roof over their head, food in their mouths, clothes on their back, you know, shoes on their feet then that's all that matters, and a parent that loves them. That is all that matters. Um, and that's, that's, that's how my mom and dad raised me. That's how I was raised. That's how my brother was raised. I am pagan, and my parents were just like, you know, my mom and dad really didn't see anything wrong with it. They are like, okay, well, that's your path. That's your path. Yes, they initially had questions, you know, okay, well, what do you do with this path? What do you, what's involved in this? You know, what is this? What is that? And you just have to sit down and explain to him, this is that, and that, and that, and that. That's what I did with my parents. My brother, he doesn't really, he's what they call agnostic. He acknowledges that there is a higher power, but he doesn't put a label to it. He doesn't say the higher power is God, or Buddha, or Zeus, or whoever else you could think of under the sun. Um... That's just his beliefs, and that's my beliefs. We were born, you know, into different beliefs. We both have different beliefs. You know, my mom believes that if you do good and, you know, you work hard and you do good, then it's going to pay off in the end. And when you get to your final resting place, you know, spiritually, um, wherever it is, we'll say heaven. When you get to heaven, that's going to get you in. Um... And that's not necessarily what I believe, but, you know, if you want to worship St. Michael, go ahead and worship St. Michael. I've never been one for the whole God thing, so I only worship St. Michael. Um, this video will definitely be uploaded on both of my channels. Um, my pagan channel, Amethyst Rose, and my Reborn channel, which is Brittany B. But, um... But yeah, that's my that's my little rant about religion and and stuff like that. Um so that's just me. I'll probably put in a little quote from Edgar Allan Poe um in a later video if I can find him. Um Ooh, staring at the light too long. So that's my, my little rant on religion and where I stand with it and, you know, what I'm going to do with it and blah, 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 blah. So I'll probably upload it to my Reborn channel first and then, and then, um, probably upload it to my, uh, Pagan channel as well. So, yeah. Bye guys.